artists who, who, when we write music, we imagine performing it as we record it. You know, I think a lot of the uh, things we put into our music with the show in mind, you know, so this is a, you know, a wonderful uh, bringing it into manifestation. And this is a hell of a place to present my, my art. I mean, it's amazing in here. But I don't think there's another club like Dre's. I don't think there's anything else like this in the United States. But the concept of, you know, having something between the club and the arena, it's a wonderful place to come and, you know, and just play to very, a very diverse crowd. It's, it's large enough and extravagant enough and luxurious enough to be fly and also intimate to where you can actually contact and, 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 and be in touch with the people. The finale of it all involves an artist presenting his music to the people who, who want to hear it most. For me, man, the most important thing is just kind of letting all of the, the things that impacted my day before I got on stage, letting that all go so I can have, you know, just a clean slate when I get out there. It, a show is always gonna be a transference of energy between the music, crowd, myself, to celebrate music, success, life, and love. I mean, it's, I think that's, that's all you can ask for from a performance, from a show. You know, to come and actually be engaged by someone who had hit records that you actually can appreciate their music. I mean, I think that when I walk away from music, I, I want people to see that I didn't just really, really fall into the comfort of my strengths. I know what I'm strong at, I know what people would rather see me do, and I know it's easy for me to do it, but I took chances and kind of stepped outside of that, trying to do other things, but maintaining who I was as an artist without compromising it.